Welcome to Facebook Ads Manager 101 series. So today we are going to fetch Facebook device report directly from Facebook Ads Manager platform. And we fetch Facebook device report in order to understand the trend of important digital marketing metrics. So this is how a Facebook Ads Manager platform look like. So first, this is campaign level, ad set level and ad level. First, go to ad set level. Once we go to ad set level, go to date range. We want to check the performance of May, how the device performance of May month look like. So I have selected a date range as a 1st May to 31st May. Once this is set up, then go to columns, go to customize columns. So here you will find so many different columns are already being selected. So we have to cancel them as we don't want all of this metric. So I want impressions link clicks ctr cpc cpm amount spent purchases purchase cost per purchase purchase conversion value i also want ras so that's it this, please uncheck these boxes. Once this is done, click apply. Once this has been set up, uh, go to breakdown and apply by time day breakdown as we want day wise reports. So once this is done, I think everything is fine now. Go to reports, click on export table data and download this data. So it will be an Excel sheet which will get downloaded. This is how the ad set level data look like. So we have to select this sheet, go to insert, apply pivot table, click on OK, select the reporting start, then choose the metrics. So we have to do sum of link clicks, sum of link clicks as well as sum of purchases, sum of purchase conversion value. Once this is done, copy this data and paste this in another sheet. Once you paste this, let's do some formatting. We will remove this sum of and count off from this row number one. So control H, replace sum of, replace all. Similarly, replace count of, replace all. So let's now use uh, formulas in order to calculate CTR, CPC, CPM, cost for purchase, ROAS. So you can also calculate average order value. We'll use formula here, link clicks upon impressions. So we can take up to two decimals. We want CPC, go to amount spent upon link clicks. We will get a cost per click. Once this is done, calculate CPM cost per thousand impressions. So amount spent upon impressions into thousand so this is how our cpm data looks like double click here okay this is done so now we want to calculate cost per purchase so amount spent upon number of purchases so this is our cost per purchase 385 and we also have to calculate ROAS. So purchase conversion value that is revenue upon amount spent. So this is our ROAS. After that, we have to calculate AOV, average order value that is purchase conversion value divided by purchases. 
So this is our AOV. So once this is done, we will use conditional formatting in order to identify the trends. So for impression, we will use first one conditional formatting for link list as well. First one for city as well, we will use first one conditional formatting. For CPC, as it is a cost metric, we have to use second. For CPM as well, we have to use second one. For purchases, we have to use first one. For, co for cost per purchase, I think I haven't double click here. So for cost per purchase, we have to use second one as it is a cost related metric. For purchase, I, I think ROAS, we have to use first one. For AOV, we have to use first one. So this is how our Facebook device report looks like. <laughs>